top of entertainment. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, welcome to Top of Entertainment. I got a subject that, uh, <laughs> that I just sniffed out about three or four days ago. I wanted to bring it to your attention, but I didn't want to do it alone. This time I have a guest and we're going to get his opinion on this exact same subject. And wh what was it I told you it was? Well, apparently there's an incident that took place in Eden Perry, Minnesota. Name's Reggie, by the way. Nice to meet everybody. But what happened apparently was at this McDonald's, there was yeah. an altercation between some uh, young, uh, I, I believe the story said Somali American people, uh, teenagers, and an older Caucasian gentleman. Yeah, okay. So what I, I heard he's like 55 years old or something like that. Whatever. Whatever. He, they're yeah, teenagers okay. and in their mind right. he's old, so okay. it, it, however you want to word that. <laughs> I forgot Bro. he's 60. But yeah. anyway, yeah. I'm not. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. So apparently this has all started over a payment issue. A payment issue. What kind of payment? Uh, apparently the young people were trying to pay for their order using Apple Pay. Commonly used all over the nation now. Um, but they were having some issues. Okay. And at which point the, the older gentleman made a side comment of, are you trying to pay with your food stamps card? Okay. Food stamps? Food stamps card. Not all of us use food stamps. The cover was unnecessary, but he made it. Okay, fine, whatever. He did it. The next point, the young lady asked him, and I probably would have too, are you asking that because of, you know, me being black? And he said yes. He did. And at that point, apparently a bunch of racial slurs were thrown at the young people, and it, the matter escalated quickly. Okay, but that's not what we're here to talk to you about today. We want to know who's right, who's wrong, and at what point did this really get out of hand? They should release him immediately. I'm just saying. That's just me. Now, because at this what? point, what? Cease and I do disagree a little bit on that. What? What's that? Just a little bit, though. How so? Watch the video. Take a moment watch the video. Now, there is a small disagreement that we have, not huge, but it's at the point of who's guilty, who's right or wrong. Mm. Go ahead and watch the video. All right. It's coming up. Here it is. Top of entertainment. Top of Hey. Oh, he has a gun! Well, he has a gun! He has a gun? Well, he has a gun! My question is, at what point in time does the guilty or the right or wrong, uh, right or wrong take place? Uh, Here's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes, they had a verbal altercation. Yes, apparently racial slurs were given back and forth. Okay, bad situation, but it happened. He is walking out the door. At this point, the this instigator follows him. What's up? At that point, the instigator had not escalated the situation because, go ahead. You know, you know what? When you said that, it, I'm, I'm, re, I'm, you know, I'm going over it in my head again. Not only is he approaching him saying, "What's up?" but he, from his angle, he's looking at a bunch of black people coming in his direction. And, and he's, he's already indicated he doesn't care for black people. Right. He's already indicated that. Why didn't he just didn't ignore him? I don't know. I would love to ask why the young people didn't ignore him and just let it go at the You know what they try to do is all, all they try to be tough now all of a sudden just because they're amongst their friends. It could be. But I would they could have ended up being shot behind that. I would have loved to figure it out. I would love to know why they felt it was necessary to follow him outside. But we don't know. We don't know. But at that point, he was the instigator, that young man. Right. And he followed him outside. Because you know now, what? In my eyes, the way he was backing up, I don't think he would have pulled a gun on them if the guy hadn't been, the instigator hadn't been going and saying, what's up? I do agree. I do agree if the instigator had not gone that far. But what happens here, unfortunately, is he does pull the gun. True. And at that point, I believe he needs to be arrested for brandishing a weapon in a public place 
full of, in this point, young teenagers. And who else, who knows who else could have been in that restaurant? You got innocent bystanders in the staff. There could have been mother and children in that restaurant. We don't know. I don't know. But it's a possibility. So that's why I feel he need to be arrested for brandishing his weapon. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, Cecil disagrees. He thinks he shouldn't have been arrested. Yeah, and that's fine. Arrested. You know, and we're going to ask you guys to share your opinions. Well, but oh, what? please go ahead. What? I was going to say, the next point I wanted to make, here we have the, uh, the we'll call him a bigot. He's in the papers as, as listed as so. And then we have the young teenager, which we've called the instigator at this point. As far as I'm concerned, these two have now canceled each other out. But we asked you in the beginning, who's right or wrong? Who's the true guilty one here? Hmm.